Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today showing how to look up if a drug is available in Israel, a prescription medication. Now, the reason I do these videos anytime I figure out how to do something on the internet that might be of use to other Olim Chadashim, other English speakers in Israel, future English speakers, maybe you're gonna watch this video in two years time. If there's a chance that this information is going to be useful to somebody, I take the few minutes it takes me to record a little screencast and put that up to YouTube, hoping it's gonna be helpful. Now what I want to show today is how to check if a medication is available in Israel. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it's actually quite useful to know and all the time uh, you come across people asking on various Facebook fora, is such and such a drug available in Israel? The second thing I'm gonna show in this video is how to look up the cost of that medication uh, with a Kupat Cholim. So if you're with, let's say, Kupat Cholim Maccabi, um, I'm gonna show how to look that up and you'll see how much that drug will cost. Now, there's three other Kupat Cholim health maintenance organizations in Israel. There's also Klalit, there's also Meyucheret, there's also Leumit. Now, I'm not in those Kupat Cholim, so I don't know the process, hence I'm not going to show the process. I do really, really like Maccabi and I take every opportunity to recommend them to other English speakers. By and large, I've had excellent experiences with Maccabi. Um, so let me show you now, jump into the Ma'agar ha So I'm just gonna take off my, uh, my uh, Google Translate thing. I was just popping up here. So this is the uh, Israeli Drug Registry. Now the URL, how to access the site, it's israeldrugs.health.gov.il. So this is an official um, portal, if you will, maintained by the Ministry of Health, Misrad Habriut. And um, so you don't have to, it's not a third party source. This is an official government uh, database as such. So always good to try to get the information officially if possible. So what I want to show, I'm gonna look up two drugs what first drug I'm gonna look up is a drug uh, that I'm taking at the moment and actually I just looked up the drug registry to see if a different formulation is on the market here and it's not. So that drug is Wellbutrin. Um, the second drug I'm going to look up is a much more, more commonplace drug, Omeprazole, which is just a uh, proton pump inhibitor used for stomach acid. Tons and tons of people take that drug. So I'm gonna do one less common drug and one more common drug. Now, um, the things you might want to, the information you'll get from this is a number of pieces of potentially useful information. The first is, well, is this drug licensed for use in Israel? So that's the first thing you should be able to answer here. Um, if it's not, if it doesn't appear, it means it is going to be harder. If it's not there. I've heard that there is a special mechanism for importing um, specific medications. As a non-healthcare professional, um, I don't know about that. I'm not going to go into that. But uh, the Shira Sharansky project um, and navigating the healthcare system in Israel Facebook groups might be good resources in that respect. So I'll put a link in the description to them. Um, if you're looking for something more conventional, you'll find out number one, if the drug exists in Israel. Number two, at which dosages the drug exists in Israel. Number three, at which uh, formulations the drug, so sometimes like in the case of Wellbutrin, you have an instant release, uh, sustained release, and an extended release formulation. Um, and uh, number four, you'll be able to get the patient information leaflets uh, if you lose them. So there's actually a lot of info you can get uh, just by using this thing. So the if you're looking for a drug, and by the way, you'll also be able to see if it's prescription only or over the counter. Um, it's always more useful to search by the active ingredient. So drugs have an active and drugs have trade names and trade names tend to differ depending on where you are in the world. So Wellbutrin is bu bu bupropion. So B U B bu sorry, B U P R bupropion. Okay. So I, as you can see, there's like an autocomplete thing going on here and uh, I got as far as a few letters and thankfully it has it. So let's do a search and let's see what the situation is regarding bupropion. So um, as you can see, it's returned three results. And what can be seen here is that uh, there's a 
ex it, there's the extended release. It's called in Israel XR. In other countries, it's called XL. I don't know why. Uh, there, we, we have in Israel, our doctors have in Israel, the 300 milligram and the 150 milligram uh, formulation by GlaxoSmithKline. There's also a 75 and 450 milligram in some geographies there's also a sustained release one in some geographies and neither exist here um, and in addition to um, Glaxo Smith clients you can see here Shem Baal Rishum the license holder is GSK their Israeli uh, subsidiary um, so we have both Glaxo Smith clients 150 and 300 milligram Wellbutrin and uh, we have Zyban which is a trade name of the same drug and that's in the 150. So both of those, and I even have a little uh, picture here of the product labeling in, uh, and that's actually exactly how it looks when you pick it up in the pharmacy here. So if I were to go into, let's say, um, the 150 milligram formulation, I'm just gonna click on Lipratim Nosfim, and you have here a veritable wealth of information. Some of this, Definitely intended for doctors, the uh, method of administration per os taken by mouth, this much I know. Um, but you can find out, for instance, when its license uh, with the with Misrad Habriut is uh, set to expire, in this case, in January of 2024. Israel is importing Wellbutrin uh, from this manufacturer located in Spain. This is its full drug registration number. And uh, one thing I, I must say, and the reason I'm making this video to showcase this, is that I think Israel really really excels in a few things israel is falls down in a few things one of the things that excels at in my opinion is digitizing information this is a like this is a tremendous resource of information that anybody uh anybody can access so let's just go back here so you have in uh in this you have information for doctors this is the first one uh, alone uh, long of a uh, alone le sarhan, le sarhan, ivrit. Um, this is uh, information for the consumer in Hebrew. In other words, a patient information leaflet. Uh, I'm not sure if it's alone or alone. Uh, I need to add this to my Morphix list. Uh, alone le sarhan ba'anglit and the patient information leaflet in English and the date that it was added. So you can see these were actually very recently updated. So in the prescriber's information, uh, you can see uh, this is inter this is the information that's intended for the doctors um, and they're just explaining that there's available this is applies to the 150 and 300 uh, milligram formulations and if we go into uh, the patient information leaflet in Hebrew we have the patient information leaflet in Hebrew and if we click into the patient information leaflet leaflet in English we have the patient information leaflet in English uh, so that can be just useful if you know you throw away your 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 uh, the the thing that comes with the medication. Now, um, something that you did notice, there is even more detail that I'm not going to go into here. It really, really does go on and all everything you might want to want to know about it um, about the drug here. And it's this is really doctor information stuff. So I don't want to I don't want to delve too deep, but this information that i've shown so far is actually useful for patients to know firstly if the drug is licensed how long it's licensed for even uh where israel's getting it from in case there are supply chain disruptions is kind of handy to know as well as these uh, documents now let me just jump back uh there's one more useful thing you can find out here and that is that if it's in sal habriut now the sal habriut um which translates in english to the drug basket this is basically the medications that Israel has determined are um, very important or, you know, they're not kind of uh, luxury medications or second line. These are like the top medications and these are the ones the government is subsidizing. So you may have noticed that Wellbutrin was not included and that's not surprising because it's kind of a second line agent for depression um, and for smoking cessation. But if we take omeprazole, which is really, really much more commonplace, so if I'm going to go for Chipus again, and uh, you can see we have a few things here that are available. Firstly, uh, Omeprazole is in uh, Sal Habriut, so you can see the tick mark here. There's also, it's also available as Omeprodex in 10 milligram, 20 and 40 milligram capsules. And it's also available in uh, Omepra, which are actually uh, the capsules I'm currently getting off this medication 
and there's also meprazole. So um, again, you can just see very easily if it's in salhabriut and uh, which strengths of that medicine are available in salhabriut. All that information is uh, provided there. Now, I did say the second part of this video, I'd be showing how to figure out uh, how much. So once we know that it's in salhabriut, the next question is, well, how much does your, uh, does your health maintenance organization, your kupat cholim, charge for that medication? So uh, Maccabi have another lookup. It's called Rishimat uh, Hatrofot uh, Lechevre Maccabi, the list of medications for Maccabi members. So let's go for Wellbutrin again. Wellbutrin again. And uh, as we expected, there is the 150 and 300 milligrams uh, tablets in 30, 30 tablets. Um, and uh, we can see basically how much uh, Maccabi is giving you a discount. Now you can see here, uh, the consumer price. So this is kind of the, the key information here. 137, just short of 134 shackles actually for the 300 milligram tablets and it's 87.33 for the 150 milligram tablet. So you can see basically uh, not only if it's available, um, you can also see how much you're going to be paying for that medication. So there's actually a total wealth of information available there if you're looking for it. Really, really useful. Uh, you know, Don't go too deep into the doctor stuff that's intended for doctors, but if you just wanna see if it exists in the country, what form exists in the country, what the trade names are in Israel, you should be able to get all that information from the drug registry website. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more videos about life in Israel, technology and other subjects, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.